What up, party peoples? Strobe Kintarden here, and the final Capcom Cup featuring Street Fighter V has just concluded. And congratulations to the two-time Capcom Cup champion, Mena RD. With the end of an era of Street Fighter V, EVO 2023 is now just around the corner, and the game reveal will be here shortly. Tomorrow, February 21st, at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern, the main stage games will be revealed. So here are my predictions for which games will be featured at Las Vegas this summer. To recap the nine games that were in the lineup for EVO 2022 in the order of registration, starting from the top, were as follows. Guilty Gear Strive, Street Fighter V, Tekken 7, King of Fighters 15, Dragon Ball Fighters, Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, Mortal Kombat 11, Melty Blood, and Skullgirls. EVO 2022 was the first time in years that a Smash Brothers game wasn't featured at the tournament. This was due to Nintendo not wanting their game to be featured at a Sony-sponsored event. Due to the backlash of the player base, I would hope that Smash does make a return, but Nintendo is very stubborn. Though prior to the 2022 announcement of EVO, Nintendo revealed that Smash would not be featured at the tournament. Nintendo, as far as I know, has not made an announcement that Smash would not be at this year's Evo. Not good. You mean not good like one out of a hundred? I'd say more like one out of a million. So you're telling me there's a chance. Yeah! EVO 2022 also adopted a new format for which game would main event their finals. Instead of Street Fighter getting the nod like it has done many times before, the games with the most registered participants ended up being the game whose finals were last. The top four games were featured on the final day, which were, in order, King of Fighters 15, Tekken 7, Street Fighter 5, and Guilty Gear Strive being the main event for EVO. Now that we cover the past, let's look to the future. Here are the games that I think will be featured for EVO 2023. Number one, Guilty Gear Strive. Leading the registration with over 2,100 players, Strive is a sure slam dunk for EVO. Number two, Street Fighter VI. Being the new entry in the Street Fighter series, this game will for sure make an appearance at EVO. Number 3, Tekken 7. With the anticipation of Tekken 8, Tekken 7 is going to be holding the fort down for Tekken for a while. And without a release date given yet, and anticipation that Tekken 8 might not even be released until 2024 at the earliest, we might be seeing Tekken 7 at next EVO as well. Number 4, King of Fighters 15. Both Tekken 7 and King of Fighters 15 both had over 1,000 entries, so it's highly likely that King of Fighter will also be back in EVO. Number 5, Dragon Ball Fighters. I don't think that this is a guarantee, but I would be a little bit surprised if this game is not featured in EVO due to the popularity of the game. I do think that this could be the last time that Dragon Ball Fighters could be at EVO since the game is officially complete and no further additions to the game will be made. Number 6, Mortal Kombat 11. Again, I don't think this game is guaranteed either, much like Dragon Ball Fighters, but since Netherrealm Studios hasn't released a new game, and I believe it's highly unlikely that there won't be an NRS game represented, Mortal Kombat 11 gets in by default. Now here are my Dark Horse candidates. Number 7, Multiverse. Multiverse was not a featured game last year, but there was a special tournament held at EVO separate from the main lineup, with a large cash payout put up by the developers. Due to its popularity, I think Multiverse shows up at its first EVO. Number 8, DNF Duel. DNF Duel still hasn't released the Spectre DLC, and there are still more DLC characters coming to the game. Since the game is still somewhat popular, and with more content coming, I believe DNF Duel makes its main stage debut at EVO. 
Number 9, Smash Brothers. Break it to them gently. I've never seen them act like that before. Denial can be an ugly thing. This is a game that should be a no-brainer, but due to Nintendo pulling out last year, there is no guarantee that it will be there. But Nintendo didn't say no so far, so I think that Smash Brothers will be a game that returns. Now, for theatrics, I think Evo should announce this game last in its lineup. That has Street Fighter V, Skullgirls, and Melty Blood as games not returning from the 2022 lineup. Street Fighter VI will replace Street Fighter V. And since Street Fighter IV, two Street Fighter games have not been featured on the main stage at EVO, and I expect that trend to continue. As for Skullgirls and Melty Blood, I think Melty Blood might have a chance, as Mortal Kombat 11 only had 50 more entrants, with 464 to 411 for Melty Blood. But I don't think Melty Blood bumps Mortal Kombat 11 from the lineup. Skull Girls rounded out the bottom with less than 300 participants, and so I doubt that it will be back despite its strong fan following. And that does it for this video. What games do you want to see featured on the big stage? Do you think that EVO should have a main event game again be the game that gets the most entries? Or should it be Street Fighter regardless? Which games do you want to see or do you think you'll see? Let your voice be heard in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe as every view helps the channel to grow. Stay tuned on the 21st to see which games make it in, and I'll catch you donkeys next time.